I have to dust this thing off. I haven't used this camera in a long time. But today is the day. We have been waiting for this specific visa. Well, this is my passport. But in this passport is a visa to get into Spain for the next 10 months, which is crazy to think about. And today is the day that we are leaving. We've got a long travel day ahead of us. I believe it's gonna be about 30 plus hours. Stick around, enjoy the video, um, cause it's gonna be a long day. Let's begin. So good morning from Sevilla, Spain. We made it. And why didn't we record the journey, Andrew? Well, we didn't record the journey because it was extremely hectic. We were just exhausted throughout most of it. And we didn't even talk to each other. We were kind of just like <laughs> sitting there, tired. But I'll explain to you exactly what, where the journey started. So we started in Houston. We flew nine hours to Amsterdam. We had a layover for about six or seven hours in Amsterdam and then flew to Madrid. And we got to Madrid around 3.45 Madrid time. And then we had a train lighting up to get to Sevilla at 9 p.m. So we ended up getting to our Airbnb probably by midnight, maybe 12.30. Talked to our Airbnb host for a good 30 to 40 minutes and then finally tried to go to bed and went to sleep at like 2 a.m. So I don't know how many hours that is in total, but I'll put it up on the screen. But it was seriously like, probably the most hectic travel day we've had. Which we say that every single time we have a travel hectic day, but this one was, I think it took the cake. This one was, this one was truly travel. We've done, you know, really long travel days, but that's just because, you know, we booked a 16 hour layover or something like that <laughs> Not <laughs> to save money. But this was like, you know, always going and going and going. So we've already started off our day with two cafe con leches, which I'm speaking fast, but my brain is moving slow still. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but for today, we're just gonna be walking around this area, our first few thoughts of Sevilla. And we have like a massive to-do list um, before our first day of work tomorrow. We're just really excited. That's the that's the moral of the, today's. Today's vlog is gonna be about how exciting it is to just walk around, be super confused about where everything is. <laughs> our Spanish, oh my gosh. So for our Spanish, you know, we speak some Spanish. We can get by, but it's almost like I made the example of like, you know, practicing English with someone from LA and then going to like the outskirts of London. That's what it feels like to us, but Spanish. So anyways, we get on our train and people are in our spot and both of our tickets say the exact same seat. Just having to describe it to the train worker and then him coming back with us like and then he just started off and I was like, well, hopefully he fixes it for us. <laughs> but hey, we got... He understood us. That's the really main yeah. deal. Someone's uh, gonna get this figured out. Uh, and it's not gonna be us. <laughs> does it feel like you're in Sevilla? It does. I'm just seeing this giant cathedral. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually in Spain, but also all of these really narrow winding streets. Um, I guess it's very common here. It's a very crowded place right now, but it's pretty crazy for the first day. <laughs> so we just got my SIM card for my phone. So I have a Spanish number and a bus ticket for the week. Um, so hopefully those are all taken care of. <laughs> but now we're just really gonna explore, walk around and find lunch for the day. Yeah, basically we skipped school to hang out around town. Whoa, skip school. <laughs> Also, do we look European? That's my question, you know, because sometimes you can walk up and someone's like, yeah, they're they're definitely from the States. That's what we always think. Anyways, we try to, we're trying to like look nice and fit in. We don't look Spaniard, but we could be French. You're definitely Nordic. Also, I want to mention, I've seen three wiener dogs today, so I'm having a great day. <laughs> Del dia, so we're having some paella and salad and bread and we're trying to get over our fear of recording in this new country We like coming down these streets because no one else is down here and we feel like we can actually talk <laughs> I feel like when we're surrounded by people, it's much more difficult So we're now on our lovely little Airbnb balcony. The host has decorated so beautifully with a number of plants It really would be like kind of like a secret calming oasis but we're in like a busy town and there's babies crying and dogs barking and music blaring yeah after this we're definitely gonna go check that out but you might be wondering why we're here especially if you're new to this to this channel we announced this in our live stream but we understand if you didn't watch that we're doing a program called now cap um, with the ministry of education in spain where we're gonna be here for the next 10 months or the whole school year being teaching assistants in 
primary schools here in Sevilla. So we're gonna be working with kids from the ages of five to 12, and we should only be working around 15 to 20 hours a week, which means we have a huge opportunity to make a lot of content for y'all, which is also another reason why we're here. So we teach online, and I teach elementary students, and Andrew teaches adults through italki, but this is a wonderful opportunity to be able to take our teaching and do it in person, mm -hmm. because it's really something that we love along with vlogging. But tomorrow, we start our very first day of teaching or if you want to call it teaching, or being a teaching assistant. And so we are going to take you along and we're going to vlog our own separate experiences via our phone. So we're not mm -hmm. carrying a big camera into a school on the first day. We are going to show you what it's like and hope that ends up being a good one. So yeah. stay tuned for the next video. But anywho. I don't know how to end it. Say, should we end it? Like, I don't want to end it just in case. Uh, should we just be like, well, time for like, a Sabrisaria. Hasta mañana. Ciao.